femme d'Haïti, c'est femme qui redit dit oui. Puis on lève petit yo. Le matin, yo lève yo pas même quand qui se boit le petit yo. Mais yo redit et puis manger fait. Si moun yo, c'est toute femme oui qui lève yo ensemble. Tout le monde qui regarde tout près la carre, il a levé tout le monde pour y retourner. Ya. Haïti, chérie. Haïti, ma maman. Haiti, my love. Haiti, my mother. Spirit that moves through the mountains. La Cillian that keeps the sea. You birth this land. You birth this woman. Fum Namo. The name and the nameless keeper of the cosmos, she is the forgotten pearl. But now her daughter brings her flowers. Her daughter revives her soul for all to see, for all to remember. Pour tout songer qui j'en femme n'amont is the beginning and the end. Protecte à potomitan pour tout moun femme garçon à petit. Songer à la corona. Mama Soleil, golden flower who stood tall and did not bend or break, whose tiny spirit still sheds light on the spirit of the woman. Songe Cecile Fatima and her power of tongue, the magic of her prayer, force exili, force of freedom. Songe Noir Asin, threaded together with the hues of blue Awuj of our Tlapoaisian. Remember our dance, our heartbeat, rhythm of the la la. Remember our hands as they paint pictures of stories only our ancestors can tell. How they heal and blend, making medicines from the earth. Songe Mama Nu, Mama Aiti, and her loving embrace. Remember her vessel. She is Fom Namo, woman of the mountainous land. mother, whether that is Mother Earth, birther, doula, in service of others, I see them as herbalists. And when I think of that energy, I think of caring, nurturing, always ready to create and offer space for others. And I think that is such, such a humbling, such a life changing and transformative type of energy that is very much so needed 
now and very much so felt when you come across a Haitian woman. Je l'aime de pitié en Haïti, laissez les grand vacances. Tout le monde content, tout le gentleman est content. Parce que vous pouvez aller en faire fête théâtrale, nous nou réunir au groupe et jeunes filles, jeunes garçons, comme si nous avons des jeunes amis. Et puis nous allons faire nou fête, fè fè, quand nous nous faisons nou fè pièces, pièce, et puis nous allons faire pièces théâtrales, et puis nous allons nou faire danse, danse folklorique. Comme si c'était des belles bagailles. Quand on nous chantait avec musique, comme si avec nous chantait et puis des tambours qui battent, comme si nous prenons monde qui vous battent tambour. Les filles nous prenons là pour nous chanter tout. Et bien dit, waya 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 la miralo la miralo la miralo. Et puis gai on gai on encore comme si a Carolina Carolina c'est où me déconne mais ça Carolina Carolina c'est quand go is quand qu'on fait malo yeah yeah it was really good yes c'est pour danser avec tout corps. Mm 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 when I think of divine Haitian femininity, a lot of portrayals come up. And what I've seen is, you know, the portrayal of Ezreli Danto, Ezreli Frida, La Sirene, which can is similar um, to Yemeya. And, you know, each of these lois, each of these portrayals or different sides of Haitian femininity show a particular side of birther in terms of mother, protector, and them being fierce, them being compassionate but also having that side of, you know, they don't play about their people, their children. And so that it, it comes off and it is shown as resilient. It is shown as the protector, the caretaker. And I have been encouraging myself to see, you know, learn through them in terms of what they represent and how Haitian women have emulated these into their roles as mother, sister, wife, um, daughter, but also seeing beyond these possibilities, seeing and what's receiving, what softness can look like for us. And not to say that those are not included in Haitian femininity, but you know, at large, a lot of the times, Haitian women are described as resilient. And so in that resilience, there's never a time to really sit with the trauma, sit with the resilience and ask the question, why are we resilient? You know, what is the circumstance that has made us resilient? And so I've tried my own best to see beyond that. And what's beyond that is what does it look like for us to be in a state of receiving what does that look like for us to see rest as revolution? What does that look like to see us being soft and being taken care of and not necessarily the caretaker? I'm in that space where I'm working on receiving. And so when I think of Haitian divine femininity, I'm thinking of the resiliency. I am thinking of the protector. I am thinking of the healer. I am thinking of the mother, but also what is beyond that? What possibilities exist for us, especially now as we know, as we know how powerful our lineage is and how far we have come because of these powerful characteristics, powerful attributes. And so 
being in this state of privilege, being in this state of possibility to see that rest, softness, grace is, is possible for us. Mm -hmm.